When you pass an argument to a method, it's passed by value. That is, the method gets a copy of the value. You can change it all you want inside the method, and it will not change the value for the caller. Look at this. This program will print the number 5 in the main method before the valmod method is called. Inside the valmod method, the number 10 is printed because the number passed to the method is doubled. Then, after valmod returns, the value is printed again and is still 5. The value in main never changes, even though the copy of the value in valmod was changed. Let me show you. Now this is true of all fundamental data types and you can pass any fundamental data type to a method. You can also pass objects to a method but they're just a little bit different. When you pass an object you pass the reference to the object. You can change the reference to the object to a new one but that won't have any effect on the original but if you mess with the contents of the object passed in you are changing the original. Here, two rectangle objects are created, each with a different height and width, and their sizes are then displayed. A method is then called passing both the rectangles to it. What gets passed are the reference values, the addresses of the two rectangles. The values of the rectangles are printed in the first line of the method. Then the rectangles are modified. In the first case, the size is set in the rectangle pointed to by the rectangle referenced by A. This is a change to the original rectangle. On the other hand, rectangle B is replaced by a new one. This means that the original rectangle still exists and has not been modified. The size of the rectangles are then printed here. This print line shows the changes to both of them. Here, the values of the original rectangles are printed after the method returns. Here you can see that the original values were printed before the method call and the modified values were printed at the bottom of the method. But look at that last line. This is the line printed after the method has returned. The contents of the A rectangle have been changed because the reference passed to the method was used to make those changes. In the case of the B rectangle, it has been left completely unchanged because in the OBJ mod method, the reference was replaced. The original rectangle was never modified. This is pass by value, but the value passed is the address, not the values inside the objects. One more. You can pass an array to a method, and the array will be treated like an object. Well, an array actually is an object in Java, so it acts just like one in a method call. Two small int arrays are created and displayed. Here at the bottom of the class is a small method that converts the contents of the array into a brief string for display. Here in the main method, the array contents of A and B are displayed both before and after a method call. Here the arrays are displayed just as they are passed into the method. A couple of the values are changed in the first array. Now an array is passed by address reference, so these changes are being made directly into the original array. On the other hand, the B array is simply being replaced with a new one, and some new values are being stored in it. This means the original array is being left intact. Here are the results. You can see, just like any other object, it was possible to change the contents of an array. But if the entire array was replaced, the original was not modified.